staff related? Whenever you hear about an elementary school, the last thing you can imagine is that it is a child that might have brought a, a gun to school. And I do have uh, something from the website that says this is a, a school that begins in kindergarten and only goes up to fourth grade. These are very young children. Well, just getting around here now, one of our producers is telling me that uh, she spoke to a father from the district who reported that one child was in fact taken away um, and that child was seriously injured, quote, seriously injured. That's one child taken away with serious injuries. By ambulance? By ambulance. And that uh, falls in step with what, what we heard about uh, numerous gunshot wounds. Also, we're being told that groups of students, some of them crying, some of them holding hands, were escorted away from the school by their teachers. Um, some of the students were still in school as of 10.30 a.m. That's according to what some of the parents are saying. Now, but there is something on the website, and it's, un it's unknown whether this was posted before or after this incident, but it, it doesn't make any mention of an emergency or a shooting, but it does say afternoon kindergarten is canceled today. Uh, there will be no midday bus runs is on the website of Sandy Hook Elementary. But again, uh, no other inclination that there's a... a an emergency of this magnitude that may be underway, but we can confirm to you that police were called and have responded because of what they were told uh, was a shooting. And I'm sure we'll be getting more details that are coming in because, again, dozens of state troopers are there on the scene. They are assisting local police. Uh, we are told that heavily armed uh, police are gathered in front of the school and uh, that a number of stretchers uh, have been set up uh, as a precaution. A staging area also set up for the students and their parents near the school, as you can imagine, uh, a number of parents who may be sitting at home watching this or people who um, know uh, families that have kids at the school are going to be watching this wanting to, or are going to be wanting to know where they should go, what they should do to uh, pick up their children and make sure that they are indeed safe. And, and what's um, remarkable about this as well, Jason, is that Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, is it's quite a ways away from some of the main cities in Connecticut like Hartford and, uh, and Stanford, sort of midway north-south between um, Stanford, which would be in the, in the bottom left hand. Uh, right, I think it's just northeast of Danbury. Yeah, okay. very close to Danbury, about a, probably about a 20, 30 minute drive from some Danbury, Connecticut, but a long way away from, from the coast, which is what most people are familiar with, right. and there was uh, the uh, metro train lines, etc. But um, And also, also very, very difficult um, for the, not only reporters to get there, but also police to have to respond there as well. I think we have someone on the, on the phone for us right now, Lou Palumbo, um, joining us now. He's a retired uh, Nassau County police officer. Lou, I know that you've had these calls uh, in your past, and I'm just wondering, what is the protocol? What happens immediately when a call comes in to authorities that it is an elementary school that they're dealing with with a possible shooter? Ashley? Hi, Lou, can you hear me? Hello? Lou, Hello? Lou it's Ashley, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can barely hear you, Ashley. Just, just trying to get a read from you with your past experience. When a call comes into authorities that there may be a, a shooter at an elementary school, is there, is there a kind of protocol? Can you walk me through what these uh, responding officers are doing right now? Well, I, I can tell you, this, especially with, with incidents involving children, whether they're struck by autos or incidents at this school, you know, auxiliaries you just can't get there fast enough. And um, we, we really don't expect to have um, incidents of this type taking place in our schools, so I'm sure it's a little bit of a shock to, to their system. But, um, you know, the basic feeling is get there as quickly as you can. Lou, stand by for a moment. I think on the line with us now is Mike Branchwell. Mr. Branchwell, I'm, I'm not sure if I've got your name right. I think I'm, I'm being told that you have four children, uh, four children in this school. Mr. Branchwell, can you hear me? We just lost that connection. We'll, we'll try to reestablish uh, our connection uh, with uh, Mike Branchwell. In the meantime, if you're just joining us, there is so little, unfortunately, to report on this, which is worrisome in itself, that the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, um, Connecticut, is uh, on lockdown at this point. I think we might have Mike Branchwell back on the line. Uh, Mike, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Mike, can you tell me, I, I, I have an initial report just from our producers that I think you have four children. Are they all in this school? We have uh, two that have graduated the high school. No, no, no one's been through the Sandy Hook school. But is this your, uh, is there something you can add to this? Is this your community? Is this your, your neighborhood? Yeah, it's, it's, our, it's our community, our neighborhood, and our, our, our children have friends who go to that school. Uh, we have a daughter who's in uh, an that uh, I started listening to this about, uh, about 45 minutes ago when I was notified 
of it, but uh, you know we we don't know how many people have been shot inside the school. Uh, we don't know the seriousness of the wounds. I did hear Connecticut State Police saying that they were trying to keep the parents from going to the school. They were trying taking them to a, another area because uh, the one road to and from the school, Mike, they wanted to keep open because that was they said that was the only route out for EMS, which is which are the annual the emergency medical service. I also heard, uh, you know, that we've got local, state, and I know the FBI was responding. Most likely they're there offering their assistance. Also, I heard them responding over the Connecticut State Police radio. Uh, and it was interesting because I heard them also say, uh, it's, it's been maybe now a half hour that it was, uh, we said, this is still, quote, this is still an active scene. And then right before we went to air, uh, I heard them, before I came down here from my office, Mike, I heard them say, this is not an active scene, and for other units who were responding, that they could slow down. So, what does that say to me? It sounds like that the scene apparently has been neutralized. But right after that, I heard them say that they were still clearing a kitchen area. They were clearing closets in the kitchen area. Uh, what I heard earlier on, that they had uh, a, group, a teacher and a group of students that were back in the kitchen area. So, I think, uh, you know, I don't...